everybody, this is Praxis, and I wanted to kind of go over what I was doing yesterday because I learned a new technique uh, regarding uh, wiring in the electrical receptacles, and I wanted to share that with you. Uh, yesterday I mentioned that I would use uh, this little wire uh, snipping tool to get the uh, jacket off of the wire, and then I used a pair of pliers for uh, doing the actual bend. Well, it kind of occurred to me that given that this is a multi-tool, it probably has something on there for that, and it does. It has this little uh, hole in the corner. I'm going to use that so you guys can see how that works. Uh, first, I'm going to just slice the jacket off, and while I'm doing this, if you care to look around, we're up on the third floor right now, and uh, the floors are pretty much done. I'm going to give them one more coat of acrylic seal. It seems like it's holding on pretty well so far. I've been a little bit concerned about uh, it going over the oil-based uh, stain underneath because uh, the oil-based stain still seems a little tacky, but I did some uh, post-action research, which is really the, the best way to check whether something's okay is after you've already done it, uh, and it seems like I'm gonna be fine uh, because the, uh, uh, the oil-based uh, stain was allowed to uh, dry for so long. I guess as long as the stuff really dries hard, even if there's some tack left to it, your uh, your acrylic uh, seal, water-based seal, uh, seal, should still work fine on it. So uh, you know, again, fingers crossed. We'll see how it goes over the years. But uh, you know, so far so good. It seems like it's doing all right. And if you look over, uh, you know, towards the windows here, see it's still a little bit patchy. Some areas are shinier than others. So I'm going to give one more uh, pass the seal. I think that should do it. Also, uh, over there to your left. Well, uh, yeah, I'm going to do it right now uh, using this little hole. You want to take a peek. Uh, and I'm going to take the, uh, the ones on one side and bend them up. And I always I put a little bit of an angle on them. Uh, so instead of them just being a straight hook, they're a hook. I can't do this with a finger, but it, it, it kind of like kicks to one side or the other. And that's so when I'm trying to get around this, it's kind of like a helix. And I can kind of screw it in. So on one side, I have them face in this way. And on the other side, I have them face in that way. Uh, and you kind of get a hand for, uh, handle for how to do that as you're, you're doing it, just putting a little twist on it as you go. Uh, so uh, behind you, you'll notice the, the wood stove chimney uh, got put in. We started putting another uh, uh, section of stove pu uh, pipe underneath it, and uh, we're ready to move that decking that's underneath it. Uh, really, as soon as I got my, my dad or someone to help me with it, because it's pretty big and bulky, but all the walls over there uh, are all uh, covered in seal, so uh, they are done uh, in terms of me having to access them anymore. Uh, and the reason I did that ahead of all the rest of these walls, I haven't sealed these walls yet, uh, aside from the fact they're not done, uh, is because once I remove that decking, it's going to be really hard to access that area unless I had like a three-story ladder all the way from the bottom. So that whole area is all sealed. The lighting fixtures are up and at the next earliest convenience, the uh, that temporary decking is going to get removed. We'll have access to all those two by fours that were used to build that. Uh, and this area is going to start all opening up. So uh, using this one tool, this is a a Klein Tools, uh, I, don't, I don't know what these are called. If I can, I'll put a link down in the description below to uh, tools like this. But it, it even has this extra warning. It says, never use on live circuits. Never would have thought about that if it had another warning. Uh, so that's it. Uh, you know, just uh, going through the electrical outlets. Once I get this third floor's outlets all done, I'm going to do another coat of seal here. And then, uh, you know, just doing more wallboards downstairs because we've got rain today and maybe snow tomorrow. That's it. Thanks for watching.